I'm not sure how low I can go, but um, right now we should be live. It's going to go a little bit right there. I'm going to look over to where we are. Okay, as long as I have line of sight, I'm okay. Okay, good. All right, guys. This is where I'm at right here. This is the BIA, BIA blockade is what you're witnessing right here. The BIA have started putting up their blockade. So now not the blockade isn't just coming from the reservation side, uh, from the Morton County side. It's also coming from the reservation side, Bureau of Indian Affairs. So the drone, I apologize. Uh, this drone is the one that was hit by a shotgun. All the drones are gone. These are evidence drones. And it's the only one that, that works, but it doesn't have any compass calibration. The camera was damaged. So if it's not really good clarity, I apologize. The glass is broken. So we had to kind of rig something up to work and it worked. I tried to use the other drone that was, that was hit by EMP charge. It wouldn't get off the ground. So this is the one that's right in the front. Um, I'm gonna shoot straight across towards the, show you, this is the first barricade. Okay, so uh, right now, Let's see if we can't get a good picture of this. This is the first barricade, guys, that you're witnessing here in uh, the BIA. We're losing, losing the camera. Let's go up a little bit. Let's see if I can get, but there we go. Okay, so I'm going to go across. Uh, we're going to have to shoot over fast because we're really... Um, running out of battery life and the camera's going in and out here. Wow, the camera's damaged. It's not working. There we go. Look. Okay. Okay. So the now where I'm going across is to the towards the camps and I'm going to show you guys the militarization that's going on here with both the Morton County Police Department as well as the, the tribal police. We're going to ignore that go home. We're going to go across. You're going to see they're, they're within a, a mile and a half of each other, both barricades. This is again the camp. Um, Army Corps of Engineers have came in with uh, uh, equipment as well. This is not a raid. Don't say this is a raid, guys, okay? We don't want to incite fear. So what we are here is documenting um, that the barricade is on both sides of now the Osheti camp. And I think everyone has accepted that the camp um, is going to close. And that the forceful water right now is being uh, risen on the Army Corps of Engineers side. They're forcing the, the, the flood range. This water in camp is of snow, so it's not a flood, just FYI. And here's where you're seeing um, the police now. This is their barricade. And I won't go too slow. Last time they shot the Mavic out of the air. So we're just going to stay at a certain distance. And they're posted up. They're really posted up. Fully posted up. We don't want to get shot at. What? Although, why would they shoot? This is the crowd right here. <laughs> Someone said, "Go higher." <laughs> <laughs> Go. Well, they're going to shoot up people. That's a violation right there. This is the amount of trash they're moving out. They are doing a lot. They're people. They're working hard and cleaning up. I'm, I'm really proud of everyone down there that's put their efforts in. They're, it's Im logistically impossible, though, to to. 
It's logistically impossible to move camp this fast, though. This is what we're talking about, relatives, is that the camp cannot be cleaned this fast. It's logistically impossible, you know. And I think that's what's important is they're trying to evacuate the camps, and, and it, it's just logistically impossible. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, the vets are here helping. They're on the ground. And, and it's, it's, a, it's amazing what we're seeing. They're here to help. And, and that's what I, I, I want to share with you guys is that that's what we're witnessing. They're here to help. There's the water. Um, it is rising from what we're seeing. I want to be there so bad. And this is right here is uh, Rosebud Camp. Rosebud Camp is cleaning as well. All these camps are working hard as, as they can, but logistically, it's not possible to clean Whoa. these camps at this amount, this, this time. So, um, we're coming back. And just to show you, you know, where we're at, this is going this way, is uh, going back to Sacred Stones. And we're going to have to fly back fast because the battery's down to 12%. What? My radio? Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to uh, do a really quick tour of everything that we're witnessing, relatives. The drone is trying to land on its own, but we're going to make it back. It should be right there in front of us. We're here standing here with uh, awesome editor Tina. Tina, what do you think of, of what we're seeing at the cleanup here? Well, I definitely think that um, there's progress happening. And it's just really crazy to see how much security has formed since that blockade started. Or even since the meeting on the bridge the other day. How we're, I feel surrounded. Yes. It feels like we're surrounded by like people watching us at all times now. I mean, we were obviously before, but extra so now. Um... And I think it can get done. Everyone's coming together. What you're looking at right now is Sacred Hi, Stones. Tina. You're seeing Sacred Stones here. And, you know, thank you guys all for your prayers, your blessings. And I want to say you guys are awesome. You know, those have sent jerky and snacks and food for our team here. That's, you know, we've got a lot to be thankful for. If we have to hold out here, we're able to continue to document. I just want to say thank you guys here. And we've got our Kuinapuni'i, which is the eagle eye. Coming right towards me. Yay! She made it home. He. He. Oh, <laughs> really? What's his name? No, he's an eagle. Queen up when he. All right, guys. <laughs> so, uh, look at that. That's amazing. So, Tina is an editor. Tell me a little bit. Of, tell everyone a little bit about your background. Uh, I come from uh, acting first, and yeah. then I got, and then I taught myself how to video edit. And um, I've been working as a video editor for the last seven years, and a producer. And I produce content, I film, I shoot, I edit. Uh, I like to shoot stuff that happens same day and get a video up by the end of the night. It's kind of mm -hmm. like my goal out here, especially with digital smoke signals. We've done like four in the last three days. Yeah. I feel like yep. I've I stayed up for a night or and a half um, getting them together but I feel like this is so topical and things are changing so quickly that mm -hmm. um, if we don't get this information out no one's going to hear it Yeah, it's like it's going to be lost in translation and it's just amazing how fast they're moving it's just mm. they're encroaching for sure like yeah and I feel the, the other goal is also is to help our indigenous women's group that, that digital yeah. smoke signal started with the media experience yeah Brooke's watching me, yeah. me Brooke and Kaylee are uh Rocking it. I'm teaching them how to edit. We're going to get some yeah. new female editors. And, and we, we got him a drone. Digital Smoke Show's got him a drone. We're going to fly some well, drones. She, she got a drone already, but crashed it. But not me. No, Brooke. Yeah, Brooke. We love you, Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> she, the, well, it wasn't her fault, she said. And uh, But, you know, we know that the drones out there are being taken down. 
Yeah. So, you know, they're, they're learning well. And they're not crashing just for no reason. They're crashing doing surveillance. They're documenting. They're uh, journalizing all through the area over there, making sure that, you know, they don't... I mean, you know, if you guys watch the video from Indigenous Women's Media, they were actually... Uh, with conservation police came up and so they did research to find out they come out in natural disasters this is not a natural disaster i mean what we're seeing is an environmental natural disaster from dakota access pipeline but for for them what's going on there for them to be here it's pretty pretty out of their league yeah it's there's so many different places too like indiana's here people from all over the the country are coming in yeah border patrol you know yeah and so. seeing the bia was the, the officer that was laughing in the last video you yeah, did, that yeah. was really, I was rewatching that last night and, oh, people don't get it. And and we put up a video last night of the drone getting shot. Yeah. And we actually caught someone. This is the first time we've seen someone actually go to our drone because we have navigation. We have location. So the location showed us where it was. Mm. Myron got, we got an amazing A7S, which shoots incredible at night and a 600 millimeter lens. And we saw them pick it up. Yeah. It's a felony to shoot down a drone. It is a felony. The Now that Morton County, you guys are watching this, will you hold your employer, Dakota Access Pipeline, accountable? I mean, nope. that you're holding 700 water protectors accountable for things that they did. Yeah. They yeah. did. Yeah. And and that's not okay. You know, you have an opportunity to be on the right side of the law in history, the right side of the law. And we're seeing that not happen here. Yeah. So we'll get, continue to say blessings and prayers your way. And send, pra- yeah, please yeah. send them our way too. And yeah, thank you guys <laughs> for all your there. support. It's been so <laughs> beautiful, really yeah. beautiful. And heartwarming. Yes, thank you guys. You guys are amazing. And again, for your donations and your snacks and your jerky. Yeah, the Tonka Arts. <laughs> <laughs> it's been awesome. Thank you guys. We're gonna go up again. Again, this this drone was the drone that that was shot. And um, gotcha. right there, this drone was shot. And it's it's uh it's actually this drone was shot. Oh. <laughs> That's the audio. Oh. Yeah, the mic is right here. Oh, sorry. But you can see from the lines that this drone was, you know, it's it's struggling. And it's got bullet holes all over. Explain, you know, it's got, yeah. it's got a shotgun. I wish all the we way. could show. Man, that is nuts. Yeah, we we'll take a picture and then you can. Oh yeah, can... oh yeah. Here, we hold that for a yeah. second. Okay. And you can hear the BBs. The BBs still in there. Okay, here. Yeah. Let me show you. All right. Look at the. Can you see that? Yeah. Can you? I don't know. It's so dark. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. Wait, I'm sure the viewers. It? I'm sure the viewers can see it. Yeah, so there's bullet holes all throughout. Yeah, bullet holes in the backside. One, two, three, four, five, six, it seven, a little practice. eight, nine, yeah. ten. God Holy! And then the bottom, and then the legs. So yeah, this one's got bullet holes through there, and but it's the last one, and and uh, it's the evidence one. I don't want to lose it. Uh, the bullet is also on the gimbal. I think that was the issue with the gimbal turning. So it's just crazy. <laughs> I'm like, but this is these Phantom Fours. You know, DJI, you guys have made a, a, an amazing Phantom 4. I'd, I'd, admit, I'd appreciate it if you guys put a little bit of Kevlar around the body. Yep. You know, the duct tape ain't working. Uh, so we, we're not trying to get these shot down. They're actually posted out over there shooting these drones. You know, that's, that's what we're seeing. They're posting them out, shooting these drones. So thank you, guys. I think that's a lot better. Yeah. A little bit better. And that was a quick tour of the camp. You're seeing that the camp is being cleaned up. We're going to take another run at it, head over again, drop the footage, and then uh, do another run and get another clean shot. So what they're telling people is you can't bring supplies into the camp. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You can't bring supplies into the camp. You can't bring, well, they try to say food at first. That is a human rights issue. Even as a refugee camp or anything like that, you cannot deny food and water. So we're going to do it. We're going to load up our food, and we're going to head over there and see if they try to not let us through. Yeah, and they turned someone away last night for having a sleeping bag in their car. Yeah. Which is, that's like endangering human lives right there. It's Pe- cold. And people are sleeping in there. Yeah. I had, I had a camp down there for, you know, five months. So yeah, this is crazy, what we're seeing down here. And, you know, continue to hold them accountable as we're seeing the encroachment of militarized um I, I don't know what these guys are. You know, they're not police. Police don't do those type of things. You know, the police I know. When I went home, I, I, and these are the stories. We went home, police, I, I had a little bit of PTSD from the police when I seen them because I, here we don't see the same thing. And that's why I was, I was okay with the tribal police when he had his badge and his number 
in his name and he answered questions and that's okay because we want to be respectful back and forth given and er, given is earned over here they won't they don't they don't earn it they don't earn the acknowledgement but they've continued to earn my prayers even more to send prayers and blessings that way that their heart is healed and that we continue to pray for the water their water their children's water and the future generations so we're going to say that in the pijat to mia Oh. Oh.